Welcome to Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, I'm going to go into firewall rules on a Synology NAS. Now real quick before we get started, Sal pointed out on one of my other videos that he believes that when you just enable the firewall that it does not enable additional rules and doesn't really do anything. Now a long time ago I called up Synology and I asked them about enabling the firewall and they did tell me that if I did not have it enabled the auto blocking of clients wouldn't work as well as some other features. Well I called back Synology again and I asked them for an update on that and they said that since version 6.2.4 or maybe earlier they went ahead and made it so that when you do enable those other features that they do function without checking the box to enable the firewall. So we're going to go ahead and create some firewall rules and I'll show you how to set that up. So if we go to the control panel and then security and then firewall, so we're going to go ahead and click on edit rules and then create. And because I'm within the United States, I'm going to click on location then select. Now type in United and allow the United States of America and then hit OK. And the action will be allow and enable this rule. Hit OK. Now I'm going to create one for my internal network. So specific IP, then select, and then we'll do a subnet. And then hit OK. Then OK again. All right, so to be able to create the deny any rule, we go ahead and click on create. And we're just going to say all and all and change this to deny and then hit OK. Now this will go ahead and be added to the very end of it. Now let's hit OK. Now if we come back and edit the rules again, Instead of basically allowing anybody on the local network to connect to it, you could go ahead and just create like an IP range. Where this is useful is that if you have a certain set of or nodes on your network, they have DHCP reservations or use static IP addresses so they don't change. And if you define it this way, then only those machines will be able to access the NAS. So to do that, we will do a all and specific IP select and then do a IP range and here is where you would go ahead and define the beginning and ending IP range like so and okay now this because it is below the deny it would actually not work so we want to click and drag and bring it up above the deny all rule now there's one other method that you might want to take a look at which is application specific on the NAS however if you want to be more granular then you might just want to restrict by the port and protocol. So to create a rule here for the applications, we can just select the list from built-in applications and hit select. And then here we can go ahead and define whatever that we want somebody to be able to access. So let's just say just rsync and hit OK. And then give it a specific IP, for example, if you had a certain device on the network that you only want it to be able to be accessed with rsync, you could do it just like this and hit OK. Now that would work if I did not allow all traffic to everything on my network. And of course I have to move it up above the deny rule. Now to show you a more granular way to create the firewall rules, we'll hit create and then we'll do custom. And here is where you can select if it's going to be say TCP, UDP, ICMP, IGMP, or all. So for this example, I'll just say TCP on port 22 for SSH, hit okay, and then say, well, I can only access it from this one particular IP address and hit OK. Then OK again and move it above the deny all rule. And again, this would only really be applicable if I did not have a full allow for my entire network. And it's that simple. I'll catch you in the next one.